Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this screencast, we'll be going over how to set up your local PC in a .com. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to know off the bat is your IP address. Um, if you don't know your IP address, the best thing I can suggest is going to whatismyipaddress.com. Um, if you're behind a, like a private network or whatever, you might get like 168. Dot or 192. Dot whatever. Um, so just going here would actually tell you your actual IP address for your uh, for your modem. Uh, so once you configure that out, we can now go to freedns.afraid.org. Uh, you can also just Google freedns, and it's the first results. Uh, go ahead and either click on register or domains or pretty much any other link. Uh, probably just domains, probably, and I'll tell you to log in. Um, I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to kind of continue and add a domain. Um, so the domain I'm going to go ahead and use is anime rain. It's one I have. Uh, did I spell that right? R. Yeah. Okay. So I have the domain here. I don't need to really do anything with this, but you do want to note that it's going to tell you to set up your your DNS with your I, with your domain provider. Um, so before we continue with that, let's go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my GoDaddy account with my domains, um, and then click on my AnimeRain.com. And currently, my name servers are linked to HostGator, so I want to change this. Uh, usually, you have to unlock in order to change this. So let's see, locking. Bar, just click on name servers. Uh, okay, so then it gives you, I think, three of them that you can copy. So just pretty much copy them into your um, your domain provider name servers. And let's go ahead and click on OK. So this might take a day, might take couple minutes might take a couple hours you never really know for sure uh, but let's go ahead and continue with this and click on submit I forgot that com okay so now again we can click on domains to go back and it's going to tell you it's broken because we haven't assigned an IP address to it so you can go ahead and click on manage now let's go ahead and copy over our IP address here. Um, and we are going to uh, edit the animerain.com and put the, the destination to your IP address. Um, now if you're trying to do like your IP address in a domain or a port that's not 80, uh, like 8080 or 8081, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can't really do that here. There's no way real uh, there's no way around it other than clicking on forward to a URL and this will just encase your entire um, website into an iframe so it will still display your domain animerain.com uh, but when you're going to your actual links it won't go animerain.com slash whatever it just stays within that iframe um, so for right now I'm just going to leave it for my with my IP address and go ahead and click on save um, and again do that for my www and yeah, click on save again. There's others like the mail and FTP and everything, but we really don't need to worry about that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing now is that my I'm behind a, a router, and that's also behind a modem. Uh, and with that modem, my port 80 is blocked by my DNS provider. Uh, so either way, I'm screwed as to just going to AnimeRain.com because it would never actually reach um, to my DNS or where I want it to reach because my port 80 is blocked. Um, so then I, I think my server there is running at 8081. I'm not sure if it's going to reach it. Anyways, while that's doing that, I can go ahead and show you how to do port forwarding within your 
this in your router, which you're probably going to have to do if you're behind a private network. Um, so my network is 192.168.0.1. Now I know all of you guys do not have D-Link, and it's very different between the D-Link versions and what they offer and so on. Uh, but more or less, you can click on. Uh, I want to go to status. Click on advance, and you you generally want to look for port forwarding. Um, this is very different as for it. I I've usually seen with routers. So let me see if I can find where I actually set it up at. There we go, routing. Mm, yeah, routing is not it. All right, so I'm for my router. It's in gaming, which is completely not even where it should be, but whatever. Uh, so this is port forwarding. All you need to do is look for your actual internal uh, or your private network's IP that's assigned to this computer. Um, so the 192.168.0.167 is the computer to the left of me. That's where I'm actually hosting. My other one at, at afraid.org um, and all I'm doing is taking that IP address and saying I want it to access port 8080 to my actual router and then I have my FTP set up um, uh, here and that's pretty much it I don't think this actually loaded um, so one that I did set up that is running from my computer right next to me is my shop uh, and as you can see, the, there's a ZAMP logo, and it's just giving a directory listing of whatever. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, setting up is not that hard, but just trying to get around to what your provider might do for you as far as blocking or else for security issues, um, it's just going to be something definitely to work with. Now, if you're using Apache, uh, which I'm suspecting suspecting you are, uh, and you're using other something other than port 80 you can also change the port to something else um, so locate your HTTP dot uh, cuff or CONF and look for listen uh, listen is usually set to 80 uh, but this one's I'm setting this one to 8080 it can be set to anything as long as the ports not used uh, when you start Apache it will pretty much tell you if the ports already being accessed and then you can go back and change it um, and if you're on Windows, there's an internal Windows firewall, which is another step you got to go through just to get that port open and accessible to the world. Um, because I'm not on Windows, I can't really show you, um, so you're kind of lucked out for that. Um, Mac has a firewall as well, but uh, not much point is just showing you as if you're probably using a Mac and you want to do this, you already know how to access your firewall. So yeah, it, I mean, I guess you guys can email me or ask or put comments for general questions because I know there's going to be a lot of questions to this. You know, just setting up XAMPP by itself is always a huge step. And setting up a .com to go with the XAMPP is a much bigger step. Um, so it's going to be a lot more questions since you really probably never dealt with you know, you know DNS, domains, IP addresses, and so on. Um, so good luck to all you guys, and I hope you are able to set it up correctly.